This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross start your eyes. That's a clip from One Big Happy. It's airing uh, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. on NBC. 9.30. Is it 9.30? It is 9.30? Sorry, sorry. Somebody gave me wrong information, Nick. Because uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler for the right information, man. Uh, you don't, you don't throw me. shit. Stop throwing shit, Sway. Yeah, okay, I'm just saying, Nick. Is, uh, they, they gave me look, man. See, what does it say right there? That so says Tuesday at, at 10. And yeah, that's so funny, that. Sway, that you said that because I asked Nick something that I saw. I said, I just want to know if it's true because you can't believe everything you read sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, well, first of all, let me introduce our guest. Good yeah. friend of mine, very established actor, um, but all around great guy. Um, dude who's done everything from being a, a AP, he's uh, giving people coffee uh, to developing <laughs> shows, oh, wow. and, and now being a star on a lot of mini shows and movies. Nick Zano is here, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. Thank you, Sway. Hey, Yo. hey, Nick. Hey, let me, let me, what year did you come to MTV? Uh, I don't know. I think, um, me neither. I, I don't know. I early don't know. 2000, was, early millennials. Yeah, early millennials. Uh, early millennials. And you used to host this show. Right. Um, that movie show, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, movie house, movie, movie house, movie house, and then he became a correspondent with us over at MTV News. News. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and man, me and this guy, I don't know what well, it was. Hang on, oh, wait right. a second. Okay, okay. so <laughs> I get this job, and mind you, I was selling shoes off Sunset Boulevard. What? And then I got the movie house yeah. job, so I could not have been more lost at the beginning of something in my life. Yeah, and then they offered me the news job, mm -hmm. and. The news job wasn't a joyful experience for me whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why not? It, it, was, it was not like a welcoming environment and like everybody wasn't really that great to me, but there were like three people who were kind to me. It was Sujin. Sujin Park. Oh, I love her. Uh, Ryan Croft. Ryan Croft. And Mr. Sway. Wow. <laughs> Callaway, yep. stand up guy you Sway, are. Sway was, I was in LA. Sway was the like lone New York heart of gold. And it goes to show you like kindness. You remember kindness mm -hmm. far more than you remember the negative things. Yeah. And for the rest of my days, I always associate you with kindness mm. to me as a person. So I appreciate wow, that. That's great, man. Nick. I, you know, it's interesting you say that because uh, it was a very competitive environment mm -hmm. that they quietly kept in that newsroom. And then, uh, it was harder to get on TV back then yeah. than it is. It seemed like anybody could get in front of a camera now. Right. right. You can't sustain it, though. That's the, that's the big thing now is how, how, how long can you stay in front of a camera. So when hmm. Nick came in, uh, you know, back then I used to look at your credentials. Oh, he's never yeah. done news. Oh, oh you they know. was hating. Yeah. He sells he's shoes. shoes. Yeah, he sells shoes. I was going to ask yeah. that. There's like a little missing piece. Like, what's that bridge between when you were selling shoes and you that's got That's Hollywood, man. Who knows? <laughs> like, like someone just, just that magic. Yeah, does yeah. someone just like see you on the street and say, "Yeah, this dude named Danny Via." Danny, Danny, Villa Danny, yeah, found me at a at the shoe store, and he called me into MTV, and I ended up doing like three months of uh, auditioning for yes. Movie House. And the last dude that was in the mix for a Movie House was Cat Williams. Damn, and really? the comedian. I mean, mind you, the comedian. Now here's here's the the funny part. I was in the lobby, and MTV gave me twenty five dollars for gas to get to these auditions. And I would sit in the lobby from the shoe store, and there was this dude I've never seen before. It's like little, like bright light of energy, and like he's pacing and like doing the whole lobby. He's cursing at people in the lobby. <laughs> he's calling like like the guy behind the desk a bitch, and he's like just running about. I'm like, damn, this guy's amazing. Who is this? Who is this unique snowflake? I was like, this guy's incredible. So then Danny comes out and goes, "Cat, we'll see you." And he looks at me, and goes, "Zano, we'll, we'll we'll see you next." And I went. Oh, fuck me. I was so close. <laughs> I was so close to this job because I am not that. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I ended up getting the job. Uh -huh. And then I started interview. I had to interview Kat for the Friday after next. Uh -huh. And when I walk in to see uh, Kat, Kat's like, yeah, motherfucker, now you interviewing me. Ooh. I do movies, <laughs> motherfucker. <Yeah. laughs> you got a great Kat Williams impression. Yeah. That's great. And I was like, fair. You know what? Fair, man. It's fair. And he's like, go ahead. Ask me questions, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's hilarious. Classic. But you know, Heather, can you read off some of the things that my, my good friend Nick Zano has gone off to do? Man, where do I start? All right. Um, one of the things that got my attention is said you're associate producer for Living Position, a World AIDS Day television special. Mm -hmm. Like that's I did so that when awesome. I was like 22. How'd you get involved so young, though? Uh, I, I worked for a production company in Florida, and then uh, that came about, and um, I was fortunate enough to get on and, and do work on that. That that was pretty amazing. That was my first thing I've yeah. ever produced. Yeah. 
really big. It, we we kind of support that movement there. Also, okay, uh, what I like about you, starring mm-hmm. Amanda Bynes. That's the one that took me out of MTV. The, so that's that's that what took you me went, out the street because you walked away from MTV. Walked away. Yo, that was gangster, boy. I was like, oh, where you, Nick, where you going? Where you Liter- going? <laughs> Literally, Sujin called me and she was just like, um, they're asking me to host your show. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead, take it. I was like, I got to get out of here. She's like, why? I was like, I, didn't, I don't know. I just got to go. I, I don't think I'm I'm suited for this. And uh, and then I went to to WB and I worked over there and, and it's all some nice. Rest, but rest, yeah, yeah. I wanted out. You wanted out, right? Yeah. And it was been a better experience. For Amanda sure. Bynes, you caught her early. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She, um, she's great. She's great. Since you know everyone, kind of just. <laughs> 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 nah, I did not. <laughs> Look at Nick. He's gonna take his sip. Watch him take his sip right now. Pardon me. <laughs> you guys ever hear my Cat Williams impression? <laughs> it's really good, Nick. I'm a fan. But for real though, Nick, I think because a lot of people have formed their own perception of her, and very rarely do we have someone who had a time to know her sincerely. Like, what can you tell us that we probably have not heard um, or seen? Here's the thing. Uh, I I view. Mental illness is no different than any other illness. Yeah. I'm not saying she has a mental illness. So let's be clear about that. But mental illness to me is no different than a cancer or or, or, mm. or anything else. It's an illness. It's something a person can't help. It's it's taking control. And that needs to be treated the same way with the same like compassion and sympathy we do have for, for people of cancer and HIV Agreed. agreed to mental illness. Yeah. Um, we just haven't crossed that road yet. But I think we're in route. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. It does. Is that good? Yeah. Did, did, did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Approved. know what that had to do with the answer to her question about Amanda Bynes. By the way, I feel like I'm running for a city council yeah, right now. Right, right. <laughs> there were no bongs on the set when you were working with Amanda Bynes. No, no, man. No. We had. <laughs> Is that wrong? <laughs> yeah, no, no, good answer. Go ahead. Go. All right. No, not at all. It was, a, it was a joyful experience. It was my first like sitcom experience, and she was great, man. It was all positive. All positive. Okay. Sorry, um, Sorry gang. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> now, because Tracy's been trying to get her as a guest on the show since she's I worked know. it. Her first assignment really? two and a half years ago <laughs> was to get Amanda Bynes I haven't been here that damn long. Come yeah, on, now. Yes, so two and a half years? Yeah, 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 seven failed. years ago, no, Sway it's asked you to do this. One and a half years. <laughs> yeah, maybe Nick could help you since you won oh, degree yeah, of separation. Oh, now, right? Pass that phone over. But you know what, Nick? Even though what? your credentials with your movies, with your television shows is exhausted and awesome. But you got a player card that could rival a lot of these dudes in Hollywood. Oh, true? Yeah. <laughs> Kat okay. Dennings, uh-huh. ring a bell. Yeah. Haley Duff, ring a uh-huh. bell. And I was just watching Karuchi and Ayanna Vincent, and she's single now, and she said she would still date someone who's famous. So I thought maybe <laughs> if your status. I just this way. <laughs> <laughs> Is she here? Is she about to walk in? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, meet Karuchi. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know what, Nick, in all honesty, though, I feel like a lot of women, Nick they do like look at them. you as some nice male eye candy. And, you know, the go-to question is, are you single? Or- yes, I am. I am. So, um, Karuchi, I'll see you at the house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean Yo, that. Well, let me ask you this. Is it? What? I, I've never had the opportunity and always wanted to um, in my past before I was in this lovely relationship I'm in now. Uh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> date a co-worker. Uh-huh. And I want to ask you about that up next, all right? Nick Va- Nick Zano is here, 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning, Shay 45. Nick Zano has joined us. Okay, so here's the thing. Nick is in a new comedy series, One Big Happy. It's airing Tuesdays at 9.30 p.m. on NBC. Nice. Interesting uh, plot to this story. Now, correct me where I'm wrong. Uh, you and your new roommate have been lifelong friends, correct? Correct. And you guys met because you both your parents were divorced. Right. Divorced. Wow, you're going back, back. Okay, all right. You're going to, like, character genesis. Yeah, yeah well, I like yeah, to man. develop the show we're here with you there. <laughs> and then, um, uh, is she a lesbian? She's a lesbian. Right. Why'd you go up so high? <laughs> 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 Had to take it to the octave right there. Sweat caught a twinkle right there, man. <laughs> you know the idea of Alicia Cuthbert? Hey, listen, man, I don't like the L- you, LGBT community to get down on you if you don't say it correctly, Very man. Yeah. So, I'm, so I'm, you just went up. Is she a lesbian? Up. I want to make sure. Like yes, yeah, she is. Okay, and so like she wants you to help to be there. We make them. an agreement to, okay. to have a baby together, and then... Uh, uh, it doesn't work, and then um, we go out one night, and I meet the love of my life. We get married, and the pregnancy actually does work. So now it's more about a merging of relationships. Um, the show's really funny. Yeah. And if you guys don't know it, just Google Alicia Cuthbert and go to Images, and then when you're done, <laughs> go to Kelly Brook. 
and then go to images. Uh-huh. And it's Tuesday at 9.30 on NBC. So that you're just going right. to yeah. sell them. You're going to objectify. <laughs> right. You're going to objectify your no, co-stars. It's just, it's just, I know there's a lot of guys <laughs> listening, and the guys don't care about the plot. Okay. All right? I'm streamlining it for the dudes. It's efficient. Yo, this is all right, right here, Nick Zano. You got to understand, Heather B., from a shoe salesman. Tell me. Uh, I remember one broadcast we did, VMAs. Yeah, we right? were the Gutter Boys. The, we were the Gutter Boys. Gutter Boys, yeah. And, and, and we had this thing we would do. <laughs> what? Yeah, what is that? They, they literally that? put us on the you? street. They put us on the street, like, next to a curb at the VMAs. Everybody's in this, like, great spot. And then Sway and I are, like, on a curb at the VMAs. <laughs> yeah. And Sway's like, fuck it. We're the gutter boys. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> now we're owning it. I took that shit personal, and then you made it positive. We made it positive. I learned that lesson from you as well. There it is. There Nick it is. Go ahead. I have a quick question for Nick, because Nick was a little fascinated when he saw our Adam Richmond cookbook. And I was- I thought, I, I, all I saw was the coloring, and I was like, what, what kind of like Rastafari <laughs> book is this? <laughs> and then it dipped down, and I was like, is that the guy from Food Show? Yeah. And it was. And it was. But <laughs> I was misleading. curious, is, is that something you're into at home? Do you cook? Food? Do you watch video? Like, what is- Food's not as important to me as it is on everybody's uh, Instagram. Like, it, <laughs> I like food, but I don't obsess about food. Yeah. Oh, so no hot, no extra hobbies Look at, at home. Oh, Nick, mm. take your jacket off, man. Would you get show, comfortable? Yeah, so no, I'm a, no, see, Nick, the thing is, <laughs> I, I'm squeezing, <laughs> but see, I already peeped it from early when I gave him a handshake. He's already in my combine. He's a strong like, guy. I already, yeah, I already put him in my combine. Thank okay. you. Dude, right. Karuchi yeah. and you. Okay. Yeah, you're, yeah. Good, you're the giving tree. You're the giving tree. <laughs> I owe you. I owe you, Nick. <laughs> I got as soon as you stop laughing, I'll be like, ah, oh, sway our journey. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe one day you'll return the favor. <laughs> uh, so let me ask you, Nick, because you, you've been living every man's dream. Listen, Nick Zano is a regular guy yeah. who worked extremely hard and has become a celebrity. I, I don't even think he cares about the celebrity status as much as he does having to work. But in the process, you got to date other celebrities, mm-hmm. whether oh, it's Haley Duff or Cat uh, Dennings. Kat Dennings, beautiful celebrities. Mm-hmm. What is it like dating celebrity women? Like, do, do you do you got to pamper them more? Right. Well, that's do, expensive, do, that relationship. You got to step your game up in the bedroom? Is that why you're always in the gym? <laughs> yeah. That's right. I'm never in the gym. That's the fucked up part. Oh, really? That's oh, how you do it. Okay. All oh, cardio. Never, okay. No. Um, I don't know what to say to that, Sway. See, here's the thing. Um, fuck, I'm trying to be clever. And I can't. <laughs> okay, Haley. What was about Haley that you liked? Haley's a great person, and she's engaged, and she's about to be uh, a mom. Okay. And I respect that, Absolutely. That should, that's somebody's Let's future wife. Cat, wonderful girl, saved my life. She's um, uh, the best, uh, most positive experience I've ever had. How she saved your life? Um, she reminded me that uh, that uh, I wasn't living to my fullest potential, mm. Mm. and she kind of woke me up to that. And uh, for that, my my like career changed, my outlook changed, and um. And it was it, it was a, a life altering uh, relationship for sure. Would you go back to her if she's single? She is in a relationship. No, and yeah. I do not comment on that. Oh. What about if she was lady. out of a relationship next no, month? No, man. It's <laughs> look, it's, our lives are all like design, and it's a long timeline, and people come in at the right time, and hopefully they do the right thing for you for you to become a better person on your yeah. personal journey. She came in on mine and made me a better person for my personal journey and for that I'm forever grateful. Yeah. Plus he's he in my combine now. He's like, he's like, he's he's got, got time for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. time for that. He got have the B and Karuchi now. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he also got common, but he don't know about that. You down for that lifestyle? Talk about your other man. Have that be honest. My Wait, what? <laughs> my, listen. Wait, uh-huh. did she put me in common uh-huh. together? Uh-huh. Nick, it's, it, Nick, it's different. <laughs> Nick, let me, mm. because the hater always want to tell. Common is my mental husband. Right, That's right, he's right. in a whole different stratosphere. You're in my combine. He combat. stimulates you mentally. C- he's mentally, in your head. no, no, no. They had a honeymoon, okay? A mental honeymoon. A mental. <laughs> You're oh. in my combine. That's different. Like you, you trying out for my team. All right. That's just want, different. Are we going to check my vertical after this? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Horizontal. He can run a quick 40, too. You know what, Sway? I hate you. 40. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Jody. I hate you, Jody. <laughs> Jody. Yo, do you watch Empire? No, no, I don't. But I, got- but I love uh, Taraji. Taraji. Yeah, Taraji. Oh, I saw Taraji in Vegas once, and... um. And I was with a group of friends, and every it was New Year's Eve, and I saw her, and, and she was nice to my friend, and we started talking, and I was like, I gotta tell you, 
Baby Boy is one of my favorite movies. Uh-huh. And it is. And um, she goes, damn, that, you, why don't you make an older reference? And I was like, <laughs> no. I was like, it's so good. And I think it gets overlooked. And I was like, I walk around my house sometimes. I'm like, I hate you, Jody. <laughs> 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 and she looks at me and she grabs both of my shoulders and she goes, I hate you, Jody. And I was like, Taraji, thank you. Like, she gave it to me directly. And as an actor, that's like the kindest thing you can do. Wow. Is to give it's you a character. T-shirt. I, hate I hate you, Jody. Jody. Yeah, it's yeah. a dope t-shirt. That's the best. Uh, what's next for you as an actor? You, you you doing any more big screen things coming up? Um, Nothing worth talking about now, just the show. Okay. Um, Got to deal with Warner Brothers on the production side. Okay, oh, right. Um, Stun it on us right there. No, come on, gang. That's um, awesome. Uh, I just handed in a script for a show I sold. I'm writing and producing now, too. Wow. So, yeah. How am I, how am I looking at your combat yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your numbers are up, baby. Comment Number one draft pick. Yeah. Number one well, draft pick. Common, only, Common only got an Oscar. Yeah. Common is over. <laughs> y'all, y'all putting him in. Common already made it out to the combine. Y'all what, he, what he you, big. I, I what, like that I'll be cutting the grass and Common's inside. And different, you come outside yeah. to talk to the pool boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll rub your back, though. <laughs> Damn. This show, man. This I did know. not happen at the other spots. So many benefits. It's different here. The <laughs> life, this is life radio. Damn, taking off my pants. You're my friend, man. What's mine is yours. Go for it. <laughs> Wait, all right. keep giving. Can you uh, reciprocate uh, with, your, with your co-stars on your yeah, show? Yeah, let's get them all down here. <laughs> let's get them down here, all right? Uh, man, hey, love you, hey, bro. Just before I go, yes. just before I go. You don't have to answer, Sway. <laughs> You ain't got the answer, Sway. You ain't got the answer, Sway. You ain't got the answer, Sway. That's how I answer my phone. (laughs) Do you really? Oh, shit. Damn, Nick. Nick, that's crazy. From the gutter boys to you ain't got the answer. I'm so proud of you. I love you so big and sincerely. Thank Thank you, Sway. Absolutely, man. Nick Zano, man, my friend right here. I'm proud of this dude, Yeah, that's dope. Don't forget, Tuesday nights, 9.30 p.m. on NBC. One big happy. Make sure you check it out tomorrow. Um, It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.